45 minutes or so left in this freeze warning. How about looking ahead? We'll be like this again tomorrow morning. Yeah, it may end up being a little bit colder. Most of us stayed at or above freezing through the night. We did have our typically colder spots, Hope Valley, West Greenwich, uh, even parts of interior South County, westerly uh, dropping down below freezing. As we look at our temperatures outside right now, it's 37 in Providence, stayed above freezing in the capital city, 33 right now in Smithfield, 38 in New Bedford, 39 in Newport, 36 right now in Westerly, and the wind chills running down to 25 in Smithfield, 32 is what it feels like as you step out the door this morning. New Bedford, similar to Providence, 31 the wind chill in Newport, and 29 in Plymouth. It's a cold morning for us, uh, even as we head through the end of the month. This is cooler than normal. That's going to set the stage for a chilly rain on Thursday. Now, most of the showers hold off until the afternoon and evening hours, but we will see some potentially uh, freeze conditions again early tomorrow morning, meaning that the temperatures will start off in the morning in the upper 20s to low 30s. Widespread rain and some thunder at night that will extend into Friday morning. Uh, Friday will be drying out, but windy uh, along with those clearing skies. We have mostly clear skies this morning. A few fair weather clouds that'll dot the horizon and our skies today. This is what it looks like in Newport. Still a little bit breezy, not as active of a wind as yesterday. Warwick's dry roadways in good shape this morning. You'll need your sunglasses along with Maybe your winter coat. High pressure is in control. That slides east allows this system to move in, and that's what's going to bring us the rainfall on Thursday. Let's time it out for you. The future cast at 11 o'clock this morning. Mostly sunny skies, exception outer cape that you get some ocean enhanced cloud cover. As we move into this evening, starts off nice dry, clear evening. We'll see some increase in the clouds through the night. Still a little bit of filtered sunshine in the morning hours, but those clouds will thicken and lower through the day, and a few spotty showers are expected by the afternoon. This is at three o'clock. The blues, the pinks, that's snow. Uh, it'll tend to change over to rain in the Berkshires and northwestern Connecticut, and I don't expect any wintry weather here, but I do expect quite a bit of rainfall. You can see overnight, Thursday night into Friday morning, that rain heavy at times. This is eight o'clock already sweeping out and drier air moving in. So snowfall amounts look light, maybe a slushy coating to an inch along the grassy surfaces of the Berkshires. Around here, it's rainfall, about a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Could see some gusts 35 to 50 miles per hour. That means potential wind advisory for parts of at least southern New England's coastline late Thursday night and Friday morning, and it does wind down early on Friday. So today's future cast, upper 40s to around 50, sunshine mixing with a few fair weather clouds, gusts up to 15 miles per hour, and then overnight tonight, it'll be chilly again, 44 at 6 o'clock, midnight temperature 35, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning around 31 degrees, upper 40s for highs tomorrow. So as that rain and those clouds fill in, it'll be chilly feel to the air. Mid 50s on Friday, I have a stamp still at 7 a.m. Dry, mostly cloudy at noon with those windy conditions. The weekend is warmer, 60 to 62 degrees both days, but mostly cloudy skies and a slight chance of a shower, not just Saturday, but could see a slight evening shower on Sunday too. It looks dry for trick-or-treating Monday, 50s in the afternoon, 40s in the evening.